Hello everyone, I am back doing another LEGO Hero Factory breakout review. This time it's going to be on... Split Face. Quite an interesting villain from the line. As you can see, this is his bag. All of these sets come in bags now, with the exception of Black Phantom. Or the bigger sets. Obviously we've got the Game Points thingy and Standard Fair, Tech Box, more game stuff, Average Picture, more information. Instructions, on the other hand, printed vertically, like all the bigger sets. Game ad on the front. Um, Surge versus Split Face with the uh, tape in the middle, and a rather crap-looking combiner. Don't really like it. So, who's Split Face himself? Quite an interesting-looking guy, to be honest. He's obviously a split form type of uh, creature with split personalities as well according to lego and toys r us's biography this guy so um building experience well building this guy was actually pretty good because although his design is pretty basic which i'll talk more about later it was fun building a bu building a villain with two personalities with a number of different colors i mean two different colors to split the whole thing in half so although the design was pretty basic the novelty of the split character kind of made it all worthwhile and quite fun as well. So overall, yeah, I liked building Split Face. He was uh, just as fun as many of the other heroes his size, but there are some downsides to him as well. But definitely not the parts, which I'm going to talk about now. He has regular hero foot, but it is in gun metal. It's pretty cool. It's got the knee slash thigh slash uh, elbow pads very bulky look good but kind of makes his uh, leg look a bit fat put another one of those on there and he's very nice nice red face chest piece it's very nice indeed um got a red side on the uh, right and a kind of gunmetal silver side on the left it all looks pretty good very detailed supplements the figure very well. There's a uh, 2.0 foot on the back, as you want to know. Now to look at the head. He has got an actual split face. Split! As you can see he's got a gun metal side. Looks basically the same either side apart from a few little spikes and small details. Take off the other side. We've got the new Iron Man head, it's actually the darker green one. Um, and the red side just the same. A few more spikes on this side. But looks very nice. And you can just plop it back together like that. And put it in this side like uh oops. Put it in the side. like so no there's the whole face split faces face then he's got quite a few older parts for his weapon and the whole of this arm to be honest and save the other arm weapons are quite basic not nothing too special much tube going across there though but i think that's just about it for parts of interest there's a variety of parts, but not too many new ones. Um, standing back up there then. Playability. Back up. Weapons can move. Elbows. Hold the arms. Smack around. Two kind of hinders articulation, but the launcher can still move very well. And fire. Very good. Legs just the same. Good movement and the head with its extremely long neck can move very well. Stand in a minute. Cool position. There we go. Kind of looks like it's hunting to me. Rebel split face is I'm gonna talk have a little rant now, so excuse me. Um, I think the main problem with this figure, although I've been overly positive in this review, to be honest, the problem with this figure is that 
They let go of gone for novelty and not design. Basically, all the attention has been focused on the split, the split uh, form, the split character aspect. But the, the design is pretty basic. I mean, even the weapons are just made up of old parts, recycled pieces. And the design is just pretty basic, to be honest. It's just a bulked up, regular build. Uh, so there's nothing too special about it, to be honest. But I think the appeal of the split, the split person aspect is very good. I think it looks great. The only problem is the design itself isn't that good. They've gone, again, they've gone for novelty and not actual design. They've focused on the split character aspect and not the design of the figure itself. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't bring it down too far, but it's not, it means it's not quite as good as the other figures, in my opinion, of course. It's still good. It's still okay. So this is me, signing out. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he does come with a hero core, even though he's not a hero himself. This is because on the back there's a game code, which I'm not going to show you because it's my own game code that I'm going to use to play the breakout uh, game coming out on herofactory.lego.com very soon. But if you want a code so you can play as well, it's different characters, then just buy some of the sets. Maybe not this guy first, again, but buy some sets and then you can play too. So again, bye guys.